Hello, uh, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit, and today we are working on making a glue topper. So if you have uh, this kind of glue, which is uh, either the Fabrifix, the Fabri-Tac, or the Art Glitter Glue, you kind of need a pin in them uh, to keep them from getting, uh, you know, glue stuck in there. The original cap that came with this bottle was this red red cap but it just if you leave it open for any amount of time then your uh, glue kind of dries in the tip and then you need a pin to get that area open again so then I started using the pin as just the uh, the cap um, I've lost quite a few of these <laughs> so uh, I got this idea from from someone somewhere and we're modifying this to uh, use one of these and I've lost so many of these pins so uh, to use one of these uh, they're for jewelry and they're for making uh, you just um, you add beads to these and then you make little jewelry spine dangles and and so forth so this one's kind of bent but uh anyway it's just a little pin with a ring at the top and then what we're gonna do is add if i can get one out of here well they're all kind of bent but this one's straight uh, and i have a longer one too but i i think the shorter one is sufficient so this is um, some nicer ones that I have. So I'll just kind of put that up there so you can see it. Uh, there might be some with bigger uh, rings, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna add a jewelry tassel uh, with beads, buttons, and ribbon to the top of it so that this will be much harder to lose <laughs> because it's gonna have a big wad of basically a spine dangle um, at the top. So get my glue out of the way and then my dauber, we don't need that today. And I've got my art on here from the previous video. And some doodads I was doing in between. So basically you're gonna need some kind of string. You could use uh, baker's twine uh, got water on my desk. Uh, ribbon. There's this really um, thin ribbon. I have a couple colors here, and then I also have this really thin ribbon. I think they use this for some kind of embroidery sewing. Uh, so there's a few of those, and then for uh, baubles to put on the string, we have some buttons. We've got wooden beads, and I got my most colorful ones. I've got some uh, kind of like whimsy beads that are plastic. And then some of these beads, or buttons, I'm sorry, that are all have the, they have, they're just, the buttonhole is on the backside instead of, so they're basically buttons where you can't see the buttonhole on the top design. So they all have that kind of little little hole on the side instead. So we might use some of those, uh, but let's let's get started. I think I want to try and use this and maybe some of this. So I I've, I've never done this before. This is the first one I'm doing. So we'll just see how it goes. Well, that's pretty good. I just give us like four strings extra. That might just do it. And then they'll be kind of about that length. Let's try it. What's the worst thing? I'll give us a little extra. I can always cut more off. Okay. So we have about that much length. And then I think I'm just going to add beads. 
try it. See how it goes. Woo! Let's see. Maybe a green. Hopefully this works. And the top ones, I could go through with two pieces and then the bottom ones kind of split it and go more. Maybe. I don't know. And this pin might come in handy to push our ribbon down inside of there. You can do it. Got one through. Now, let's try to get the other one through. <laughs> Just goes right through it. Hmm. If we can get a bit started. And we'll just kind of wad that up in there. It's that technical turn, wadding it up. <laughs> so close. Right there. Ah, finally. Got it. That was one bead. <laughs> Hopefully the next ones go faster. And then I am just going to knot it right under that bead so it kind of stays in place. Maybe if I can. Try that again. more even up there. I'm totally off the screen. Sorry about that. And my knot is not big enough and the bead is going right through. Keep it somewhat steady. You can tell I'm not a jewelry person. I don't have all those tricks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, one through. Now. So now, <clears throat> somehow ended up with this side very, okay, I'm going to try and twist that to a little point, get another green bead. And then get my pin. Oh, not even close to the hole. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Yay. And when I tie this knot, then we'll have a good base for our dangle. So far, this is what we have. 
Now I think we can do separate beads and maybe a button. Maybe this red button. Let's see if we can put that through there. Johnny Cash song in my head. Well, it's technically from the movie Walk the Line. I can't get it out of my head. Time's a wasting. Although I don't, I mean, it's a nice song. It doesn't actually bother me that it's, I guess, in my head. Okay. One more knot, just to make sure. Good and stuck. And let's see if we can get that to go through there. Maybe. All right, here we go. Not really. It's not going through there so well. Let me try a different kind of bead. Okay. These crazy beads. Ooh, that went through pretty slick. I really didn't uh, think about the design of this at all. I'm just making it crazy and colorful. So you can make yours uh, pretty if you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, that fell right off. Uh, my knot wasn't big enough. Where are you, my friend? Okay. At least it went on easy, right? So we can do it again. And I guess we'll just start beating like crazy. Try and take see one of these has a really big hole in it and then it won't be so difficult for me to get that threaded. Of, like taped these or something so isn't that what they do they tape the ends of them into a little point maybe I can do that all right we're getting a little tape here a little washi tape here and this is my end Just gonna fold that around. Okay. Didn't need quite so much, so you get off my finger. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so now we got we have a little end to it, and then I'm just gonna Snip that. Oh, but, okay. And we're going to go through here, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, we'll try one of these. Ha! Ah, much easier.
have maybe like two knots fit on there. Or three. Okay, all right. So now we got a few beads on there. Some washi tape stuck to my finger again. Um, all right, so this is not came off. Uh, so I'm going to take some of this string ribbon, they call that, <laughs> and tie that on into knots. And then maybe that will be a little easier. That bead fell off again. Okay. All right. There's this end here. They're coming with me. There we go, that got through there. Try this one. Yep. Wooden bead. Maybe a pink bead. A purple bead. that off. Oop. This is what we have so far. Okay. We'll do the washi tape deal one more time. Don't need much at all. Just enough. get through the beads. Yeah. Okay. Try this bead. Any more of those? Oh, we're on mice. Maybe one of these pink ones again. Can get something through there. Probably keep our whole line from getting away from us. There we go. Okay. Try and get this 
than that. Big as we can. That is a good tip when you're beading something. You want to go with the biggest pieces first and then work your way down to the smallest ones. And your knot at the bottom will hold it all in. Okay. So we have this thing going now. That would be hard to lose. <laughs> And any bright colored beads here? Let's see. Got this turquoise blue deal. And of course, I need washi tape at the end. Just a little. Oof, my husband is making popcorn. That's what it smells like anyway. It smells good. It's a very rainy day here in Wisconsin and it just was very dreary all day. Yesterday was beautiful. Got to get outside a little bit, so that was nice. All right, we're gonna go through this yellow one, hopefully. We're gonna Pop it along that needle. Oh, beads are flying. Okay, now I've got this pink one. So a hole in it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Found it. Okay. Maybe this green one. I totally forgot about my pretty turquoise button that I wanted, that I got the tape on there for it in the first place. Okay, now let's take a look at it. Now we're getting a little bulky. Okay, now. I think we've, we've accomplished bright and colorful to prevent me from losing this big wad of stuff. It'll be a lot harder to lose than a little pin on my desk. So that is handy. Okay. All right, I'm calling that done and colorful also. A couple of buttons. Okay, now we're gonna put it in the glue. Dun, 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 dun. And glue topper. Look at that. Beautiful. Seems really skinny. I think it needs something else, but I think it's good. And when I need to take it out, I just go like that. All right. I think I think we did it. Glue topper. There you have it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some useful information out of this on how to make yourself a totally fabulous glue stopper in your very own style. And as always, thank you for coming along. And I will I'll talk to you later.